Hey everyone, Eric here and welcome back to this week's What's Happening in the Credit Card World. give you update to news that you otherwise might miss due to various reasons. The last thing I want as a credit card YouTuber is for my audience to miss out on potential rewards and deals that would have otherwise given them even more cash back when using their credit cards. And while all of this information can be found on websites like doctorofcredit.com or onemileatatime.com, some people just don't have the time to read it all. So consider this an audiobook or a visual book with weekly updates about the credit card world that just might pique your interest. Granted, some of these deals might expire by the time you watch these videos, so make sure to subscribe to keep up with the latest news. And before we start, just want to give a quick shout out to Exter for being the first sponsor of this YouTube channel, but more on them later. And with the interest being done, let's get into this week's what's happening in the credit card world. On Tuesday of this week, Capital One announced the launch of the Premier Collection, which in short is a collection of hotels to rival American Express's fine hotel and resorts collection and Chase's luxury hotel and resort collection, bringing in another update to the credit card world and creating more competition between these three credit card issuers. The benefits that the Premier Collection will grant to the Capital One Venture X card holders are things like earning 10X miles on Premier Collection bookings, $100 experience credit to use during your stay, complimentary breakfast for two per day, free Wi-Fi, room upgrades, and early check-in and late check-out when available. Some of the hotels that are included in this collection are the Ned Nomad in New York, La Reserve, Paris Hotel and Spa, Euphoria Retreat in Greece, and the Plettenberg in South Africa. There's not an exact date on when Capital One's own collection of luxury hotels will be unveiled, but according to some of the news articles out there, it'll happen towards the end of the year. What do you think about yet another Capital One upgrade? In my opinion, Capital One continues to push the meta within the credit card world, and they just continue to be pushing out more and more exciting news every single day. I am curious, however, if all of this news is gonna change up the Capital One Venture X card in the near future. What are your thoughts about this? Leave them in the comment section down below. And speaking of Chase, the Chase Sapphire Reserve finally got an updated limited time sign up bonus offer. Its offer is 80,000 ultimate reward points after you spend $4,000 on purchases within the first three months of account opening. Now, while this isn't a historical max, it's still a pretty good offer all around. But honestly, as of right now, I definitely wouldn't recommend you guys to get the Chase Sapphire Reserve. And here's why. First, the Chase Sapphire Reserve needs an update. The $550 annual fee plus $75 for each additional authorized user is insane compared to other premium travel credit cards on the market. More so when you realize it doesn't provide enough statement credits to eliminate that annual fee like other premium travel credit cards do. It does provide a ton of ways to earn ultimate reward points via travel, but you're forced to purchase tickets and hotels through the travel portal. And yeah, while it does provide 50% more redemption value, Chase's mid-tier travel credit card provides 25%, and honestly, if you're transferring alternate reward points out, these bonus kickers are kind of useless. Plus, even though Chase is creating a network of nine Sapphire lounges in the coming years, they aren't making them exclusive to premium travel credit card holders like the Platinum or Venture X card does. And finally, the Chase Freedom Flex and the Chase Freedom Unlimited have the same type of sign-up bonus right now. $200 cash back after spending $500 on purchases within the first three months of account opening, which is given to you as 20,000 alternate reward points, and then 5% back on groceries for up to $12,000 spend in the first year, which converts to 60,000 alternate reward points, which totals up to 80,000 alternate reward points. So yeah, if you want my opinion, although it's great that the Chase Sci-Fi Reserve finally updated with a new limited time sign-up bonus, it's nothing to call home about. Plus the Chase Sapphire I preferred literally had the same sign up bonus about a couple months ago and it also waived that $95 annual fee if you went to an actual Chase branch, which means it's actually better than this current offer of the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Speaking of insane, US Bank is launching a brand new cashback credit card that puts retail credit cards to shame. US Bank is geared to launch a US Bank Shopper Cash Rewards Visa Signature card that allows you to pick two retailers and earn 6% cash back for a total combined offer of $1,500 per quarter. The retailers in question are these 24 listed here with notable mentions to places like Amazon.com, Apple, Nordstrom, Target, Walmart, Lowe's, and Macy's. After that, you can also earn 3% cash back on eligible purchases each quarter in the category of your choice. And those options are wholesale clubs, gas and EV charging stations, or bills and home utilities. Plus, 1.5% cash back on all other purchases. This is gonna be a highly sought after cash back credit card, especially since general cash back on retail stores such as Target, Walmart, Costco, BJ's, and Sam's Club 
are hard to come by and generally require retail exclusive cards in order to get a decent amount of cash back. But with this brand new cash back credit card, it eliminates that headache. It will also have a $95 annual fee that will be waived in the first year with a sign-up bonus offer of $250 back after spending $2,000 on purchases within the first 120 days of account opening. One interesting thing that I want to know about this cash back credit card is that for those of you out there that get this card early, you get a plastic version of the card that comes with innovative LED power technology that lights up the US bank logo during contactless transactions. So I guess it wasn't just fancy Photoshop editing around the logo for the card. I guess it actually was hinting at something like this. Interesting. Will you be adding this cashback credit card to your radar when it comes out on October 24th? 2022. Comment in the comment section down below with your opinions about it. Before I start the lightning round, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Extra Wallets for being the first sponsor of this YouTube channel. The one that I'm holding right here is the Parliament version, which has two card slots on the left where I carry my driver's license and miscellaneous cards. And on the right, I put my most used credit card in this flap, as well as five credit cards I'll be using for quarter four in this cartridge-like dispenser. If this version doesn't fit your style, Exter also has a slimmer version for strictly cards, but if you're leaning more towards the old school wallet design, there's also the bifold version as well. With new credit cards seemingly popping up every single day, you definitely want a wallet that can keep up with the market. Make sure to use code ERICAL at checkout or with the link in the descriptions down below to get 5% off your next Exter wallet. This code code does stack on top of other pre-existing codes. Right now, there's a site-wide fall sale, which gives you 20% off, but adding code ERICAL gives you an additional 5% off. Again, thank you to x for being the first sponsor of this YouTube channel. Make sure to use code ERICAL at checkout for 5% off your next x wallet. All right, let's get ready for the lightning round. On top of Capital One announcing the launch of the Premier Hotel Collection, later on Thursday, Capital One also announced plans for a new airport lounge concept called Capital One Landings. The first two locations will be in New York LaGuardia Airport and also Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. And the differences between these compared to the Capital One lounges are that these will focus more on dining. The things we know so far about these two lounges are that the LaGuardia one will be approximately 10,700 square feet and the Washington National Airport will be approximately 5,500 square feet. There's no opening date yet, but yet another piece of exciting Capital One news. Speaking of exciting, for those of you out there with the American Express Hilton Honors credit card and are thinking about upgrading to the Ascend or Expire, make sure to check your American Express offers as there might be a deal for 150,000 bonus point when you upgrade. The Hilton Aspire is arguably one of the best hotel credit cards in terms of perks, so if you're interested and have this deal, maybe? In other news, apparently credit cards isn't the only thing Apple is dabbling with in the financial space. Apple is geared to launch a savings account that you can deposit daily cash into. This account again will be from Goldman Sachs, which issued their Apple credit cards, and I'm curious about whether or not this will be a high yield savings account and what the APY rate will be. Competitive APY rates right now are anywhere between 2% all the way up to nearly 5%. So if Apple can match that, it'd be a great product. Considering the fact that you can't do much with daily cash right now, other than transferring it out. Student Loan Debt Relief Beta Program is now accepting applicants. If you remember, about a month ago, Joe Biden announced that those that have student debt could get up to $20,000 in debt relief if you meet their requirements and that the grants were given to you as federal Pell Grants, and up to $10,000 in debt relief if you didn't receive a federal Pell Grant. Great news for those of you out there that can get some debt relief. I'll make sure to link the website in the descriptions down below. And finally, the American Express Morgan Stanley Platinum Credit Card has an updated offer of 125,000 points after spending $6,000 on purchases within the first six months of account opening. This card is exclusive to Morgan Stanley clients with an eligible brokerage account, and I've seen through the grapevines that there is a way to eliminate that $695 annual fee as well. All right, those are all the relevant deals that I've seen for the week of October 17th, 2022. If you found any of the information in this video to be helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free and it definitely helped me grow this YouTube channel. These videos in the meantime will always come out on the weekend on Saturdays at 12 p.m. Eastern time. That's 9 a.m. for those of you on the West Coast. Thank you for watching as always. Until next time, everyone, stay safe out there. Peace.